Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to drive organic traffic off of Facebook. More clients and customers with zero ad spend. In one month alone, I was able to generate over $12,000 for my own business. But this technique will work whether if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're an agency owner, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a business owner, if you deal with people, this strategy will work for you. All right, here's our process. Number one, we're going to profile and we're going to optimize our profile. Number two, we're going to connect and segregate. And number three, we are going to convert. Inbound leads, my favorite. Stay tuned until the end because I promise you this is not what you think it is. I'm surprised Facebook even allows this. Guys, this is very powerful. They will take it away. Take advantage of it now. All right, so let's hop over here into Facebook and I'm going to go into my profile, okay? This is not the, the greatest profile in the world. And I would suggest you doing some things different. All right, first thing, my profile picture. It is not a good profile picture for this strategy. Just put a normal profile picture of yourself. It doesn't have to be a professional headshot. Matter of fact, the, the worst, the more amateur, the better thing here is I have my Facebook group. I'm trying to promote my group, all right? A lot of people that I see with marketers is that they have, hey, I generate leads for businesses, or hey, I'm a Facebook ads expert, or hey, I'm a funnel hacker, or something like that. If you're going to use this strategy, don't have any of that on there because it screams spam. And be honest with yourself. How many times has somebody reached out to you and said, hey, I saw you were a funnel hacker and I wanted to hit you up? Um, zero. I guarantee you. Okay, so let's say I want to target HVAC company owners here in Indianapolis where I'm based at. So all I did literally was hit top HVAC Indianapolis. One of my favorite things to do is to go over to Yep. Why may you ask? Because I have never met a business owner that was excited about their ROI that they were getting from their advertising dollars spending on Yelp. Yelp is absolutely horrible for business owners. Horrible. Literally like the mafia for online reviews. They will try to squeeze money out of you. They will pump up fake bad reviews and try to get you to spend money with them. Like, I wouldn't even do business with these guys for an ethical reason. Another great place I like to go is Groupon. Groupon is another horrible place for business owners. They have to sell at a discounted rate. So let's say I'm an HVAC company and I'm selling a, I'm selling you a maintenance service for $150 that I normally sell for $300. So you would think that $150 I get to keep. But I have to give half that money to Groupon. So at a service that I normally charge $300 for, I'm giving it a discounted rate for $150. And of that 150, I only get to keep $75. Okay, my last favorite place to go is Zillow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here to Agent Finder. All right, what I like about Zillow here is you can come down here and see the realtors of how many houses they've sold. And if you calculate that by their commission, which is anywhere from like 1% to 6% on their average home values, you can literally calculate how much money they have. A lot of people get this wrong when they think that all real estate agents need a Facebook ads guy or a Google ads guy and they're all making money. That is definitely not the case. The only people that are going to be able to afford a digital marketer generating leads for them at a decently priced are going to be your top performer, your local celebrity realtors. Okay, enough being said, and I'm going to show you how this magic trap works. So we go over here to our sponsor results. We know these guys are spending money on Yelp and nine times out of ten, they're not happy. All right. So let's just go over here to action, air, and heat. Okay, so four places you need to go to find the business owners, okay? Number one would be their website. Number two would be the about section on their Facebook business page. Number three, search for it on LinkedIn. Number four, find out where, what state the LLC is filed and look it up. It's public record. In this case, we're just going to head over to their website. And when we get to their website, we're going to check out their About Us section. So we're over here on the About Us section, and we see right here, owners John and Katie Dinger. So I'm headed over into Facebook, and I'm going to look for John Dinger. Okay, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm going to tell you right now, this first one right here is John Dinger. This is the guy that we want, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. First thing is this profile picture. It's a picture of a building. Why wouldn't he have a picture of a building, you might ask? Well, it's to scare away marketers and salesmen like yourself. These business owners get bombarded all the time 
with people reaching out to them trying to sell them something. And looking at our supporting facts to verify this. He's in Indianapolis. That's where we looked at ITT Tech Institute. He studied HVAC and he says he's a service manager and action but we know better because we've been to the website. All right, now this is where the magic happens. We are going to send him a friend request, but we're not just going to stop there. This is very important. This is the most vital step of this operation, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to send them friend requests and then we are going to add him to a segmented list. Okay, you can come down here and create a new list. So let's say if you wanted to target business owners of HVAC, you come down here and make a list of HVAC companies. If you wanted to do it with realtors, you could do it with realtors. You can do it with marketers. You can see I have prospects. Um, this is great to do with your dream 100 list. And why do you think that this is so important? I'm gonna show you right now why this is important and how this can transform your business. So I'm at just my regular Facebook login. This is where I go when I first hit Facebook, right? Now I'm gonna come over here to explore and then I'm gonna hit my friends list. Okay, now it's sending us to our friends list that we have created. Guys, this will work for anything. If you wanna reach out to realtors, if you're a uh, personal trainer and you wanna reach out to prospects, gather your data and find prospects and put them in a prospecting folder. Um, if you have a Dream 100 client list, Put them in a VIP folder. Guys, the possibilities are absolutely endless. And I'm gonna show you now why and how this is so powerful. So just for this example, I reach out to a lot of marketers. I'm just gonna go ahead and click marketers, my marketers list. You can see I have 312 people, or 329, excuse me, on this list. And what I'll do is every morning I'll spend 10, 15 minutes a day, and I, you can like comments, um, you can drop a comment on something, it's only going to show you posts from the people that you put on this list. So let's say if I was wanting to reach out to HVAC company business owners, I would only have HVAC business owners only show up their post on this list. Now guys, that's only half of it. I'm gonna show you now the other half. So it works on the back end also. So let's say I wanna create a post and I only wanna send it out to my HVAC business owners, or I only want to send it out to marketers, or I only want to send it out to prospects, you can now do this, all right? So all you have to do is come over here, create your post, your specific, your specific friends. We have an HVAC right here, but you can switch it up. Let's say marketers, or I only want to send it over to my prospects, or I only want to send it over to um, realtors, right? So that's how this is so powerful, guys and gals. You're literally taking 15 minutes out of your day and building the know, like, and trust on a very personal level with people that you want to work with, okay? I recommend start with your dream 100 list or if you want to work with gym owners or whoever, whoever you're wanting to do business with, guys, this is a great first touch. But not only can you engage with them on Facebook, don't stop there. Go reach out to them on LinkedIn. Okay, if they're producing content, you can engage with them there. But if not, you can direct message them. All right. Third thing, put them on your cold email list. Okay, they've seen you on Facebook, they see you on LinkedIn, and then you're emailing them also. They will definitely have a look at what you're doing. You're literally following them around on the internet. So, guys, best of luck. I would love to know how you would utilize this uh, technique. Drop them in the comments below. I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel for more details, little tips and tricks on digital marketing like this. Best of luck to you guys and happy hunting.